this is such a sad day. This is my printer and I've had it for about six years. It's printed so much for me. But it's dead. It died. It doesn't print anymore and it can't be fixed. Oh, look at it. If you've bought something from me in the past couple of years, the address label will have been printed on this machine. This machine is workhorsed for me. It has done everything. So I'm now on my way to the scrapyard to finally put my printer to rest. I kind of feel the way that that you do when you're taking a dog, you know, so an animal that you love to the vet so you know it's the final time. You know, and I kind of wish that I could go to this uh, to this scrapyard and they, they would melt my printer down in front of me and make it into a little tiny miniature printer urn or something like that. Because, I mean, this printer's been really good to me. It's been so good, you know, it's printed everything that I've done for the past five or six years. The printer ink was ridiculously cheap. I mean, the compatible cartridges were a pound or something like that, so... So it's pretty pretty good, uh, and to uh, to make myself feel better, of course, uh, I've gone and bought myself a new printer already from Amazon, and Amazon should be dispatching that within the next day or two. So I shouldn't be with that one for too long. But it feels weird. It's kind of like when you when you're disconnected from the internet, or you go somewhere where there isn't any internet for a while, and and you kind of get that, that withdrawal symptom. You just feel like you're not connected or you just can't do everything that you used to be able to do. Which is kind of fun, I guess. Uh, when I get back from the tip, I've got to... Uh, I've got to... And just for any American viewers, the tip is the, like, the waste yard, the scrap yard, um, where you normally take your your extra waste that doesn't get collected but this is like a recycling center style one but as soon as I get back from there on the way back I need to stop off at Staples at my last stage gig uh, there's a part where I have something in a padded envelope and uh, the person on stage that was holding this this padded envelope must have been really nervous and she was getting all fidgety and she started screwing up the ball. She screwed up the uh, envelopes sorry, into a ball. And uh, and it just, I can't, if I go to the gig it, it, with that envelope to my next stage gig, they're going to laugh at me. It would be equivalent of Columbo in his wrinkly jacket turning up, but it would be Paul Brook in his wrinkly envelope. Uh, that sounds wrong. That sounds like I'm an old lady of some kind with my wrinkly envelope gross, I didn't need that, I really didn't need that in my head. Oh yeah, I missed the last episode of Flash Forward, that was only a couple of days ago, but I haven't been able to watch it, so I've got to watch that later. So I don't know what happens, I don't know what happens, people are out there, they know, they know what's happened and I don't know what's happened. Uh, and I, d I don't want to get to that awkward situation where where I'm going round and I start speaking to people and they go, oh my god, did you know what happened to Dimitri? Ah! And I'm like, oh no, don't tell me, don't tell me. And then you've got, you've got, to, be, you've got to be the party pooper that kiboshes the conversation starter. So, so I'm going to make sure that I'm not that person by watching it tonight. Plus I'll enjoy the, uh, the closure and the conclusion of it. I, oh, well, I hope I will anyway. Unless they do a lost and kind of leave you on a massive cliffhanger season after season. Okay, so I've just found out that... Uh, that the recycling centre is actually closed today. It's... Uh, and it reopens tomorrow... Which means overnight I'm going to have to leave my dead printer in the car, just like, you know, an Italian mobster. Tonight is going to be horrendous. It's going to be like I've... Uh, it's going to be like I'm, I'm in Edgar Allan Poe's telltale sign. It's going to be pounding away at me. I'm, 
The prince is in the boat. The prince is in the boat. Oh my god, I'm so guilty. I'm so guilty. I'm so oh no. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> gonna have to leave it there. But I still need to go to Staples because I need to re replenish my uh, stage act. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. I can't believe how warm it is. You can probably see the growing beads of perspiration on my forehead. Oh my gosh. I've still got quite a while to drive until I'm at Staples. Oh, wouldn't it be great? It'd just be so good if I could click my fingers and instantly break through the time-space continuum and end up at Staples. Wouldn't that be good? That'd be great. It'd be so good. Do you know what? Let's give it a go. Oh my god. It worked. God, oh my god. That's weird. It's going to Staples. I don't think they're going to let me film in there. And because of that, I'm going to have to sign off and speak to you guys soon. It's always a pleasure. And just remember, keep it real. Paul Brook, he can move your mind with a look. Paul Brook, he can read the signs like a book. Just watch, you can see reality bend. Paul Brook, is it all pretend?